lines, you are going to uh, draw a shape with a given perimeter. So let's suppose that you're uh, in a test, or a quiz, or just an activity or a project, and the question says that you have to draw a shape with a perimeter of 16 centimeters. Okay, the first thing that you need to do is consider what, what sort of shapes you could draw uh, with, that, um, with that perimeter. And uh, the easiest shape to draw with that perimeter would be squares. Um, a little bit harder would be rectangles, but it's not a lot harder. Now keep in mind we're talking about key stage 2, okay, so children between 7 and 11 should be able to do this. All right, you need to remember that the perimeter is the distance around a shape. So for example, if you have a football field and you need to put fencing up, you're not going to put the fencing on the field. You're going to put it around the outside of the field, and that's the perimeter. All right, the formula for perimeter is uh, perimeter equals length plus width, brackets, multiplied by 2. You could also write the formula as perimeter equals 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. Both of these are correct, but your teacher may have a preference for one or the other. So I've worked out uh, the perimeter using a square and a rectangle, so let's go through it. Okay, so if we have a perimeter of 16 centimeters, all right, and we're going to use a square, well, we know that the rule of uh, squares says that uh, you have to have uh, all the sides have to be the same length, all right, and the opposite sides have to be parallel. So I'll just indicate that. Okay, so these arrows just indicate which sides are parallel. We know that a square has four sides, so all we do is we write what we're given, we divide it by the number of sides, and it tells us that each side has to be four centimeters. So there you go, four centimeters along that side, four centimeters along that side, and if we count up the squares, we'll find that we have 16. So there's four, eight, 12, 16 centimeters. Okay. So, to work it out mathematically, we can just go like this. P equals length, 4, plus the width, which is also going to be 4, multiplied by 2. We add this together. 8 multiplied by 2. We can get rid of the brackets now, and it's just 8 times 2 is 16. All right? And that's how you do that one. For a rectangle, as I said, it's not uh, it's not an awful lot different. It's not a lot harder. Uh, it's just a different shape. Again, we have to show that these sides are parallel. And of course, as you know, every rectangle, if it is a rectangle, has four right angles, as does a square. All right, so we have our perimeter here. In this case, I'm going to put in what we're given. The perimeter is 16 centimeters, and that has to be made up by length plus width multiplied by 2. Okay, so that would be 16 centimeters. Okay, now the way I did it is I just took uh, these two sides here, and I said, well, if that's 10, if both these sides together are 10, that means each one is going to be 5. Okay, and then each of these other sides left over just has to make up 6. Alright, so in this case, we've got 5 plus 3, and we're going to multiply that by 2. Five plus three is eight. Multiply it by two. So we have sixteen centimeters equals sixteen centimeters. Okay, so that must be right. So my suggestion to you is when you are given an amount, uh, whatever a perimeter needs to be, um, try and work out. Uh, try and work out what the two largest sides could be.
All right, and then whatever is left over would just be the smaller sides divided by two. Okay, I hope that's been helpful. Good luck.